Hello everybody and welcome to the Murray Music YouTube channel. Stick around to watch how I turn this old sewing machine into a DIY rotary speaker. Now at this point the only plans that exist for this project are the ones inside my head. So I'm hoping this works out the way I want it to. Now I have here this 8 inch guitar speaker. And I'm thinking that'll fit something like this pointing up on a baffle of some kind. And then on top of that, we'll have the rotor spinning right angle baffle that'll give you the whoop, 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 whoop. And that will be driven by the old sewing machine motor and foot pedal. And to make sure that spins nice, I'm going to mount it inside the wheel bearings for this old roller skate here. So I think I have all the main pieces that I need. I just at this point need to get the sewing machine out of the way so I can start seeing how everything's going to fit and cut up some wood pieces for my frame. Okay, so I've got the main frame of the rotary speaker kind of in place here. Now this outlines the maximum dimensions that this can be while still fitting inside the case. So as long as everything fits inside these bars here, we should be good and everything should line up right. Now if I put my speaker in the bottom here and I use these extra scraps from when I made the frame, these will be the right size to hold the speaker baffle up just enough to give me room for that speaker in there. So I think I'm going to cut these down and hold up my baffle like this, which means all this space in here is going to be the rotor thing and the motor and all that to control it. Now in investigating the motor from the sewing machine, I think this is not going to be a good option to use. It's actually a brushed motor and it spins very fast and is very loud. So now I could gear it down with some pulleys or a motor controller to get it to spin slower. But even if I do that, it's still going to be a really loud motor, which is not going to be beneficial for building a speaker. So I think the better option is going to be the motor that's inside this old fan. This is a shaded pole motor, spins a lot slower and is a lot quieter. And I think it will be perfect for this. I'm not surprised by this. I was just trying to keep the parts down, but I think this is really going to end up being the better option. So we got to pull the motor out of this fan and start working on a mount for it and a mount to get our rotor. In.
This is awesome. Super excited to get to this point. I know now it's going to work, so I'm really excited to finish this project up and actually hear how this thing is going to sound. Now I waited until now to cut the hole for the speaker in this baffle board because I wasn't sure if this was going to work with the spinner baffle thing completely free floating there with nothing supporting it underneath. But you can see it's working, so here it is. So I can go ahead and cut that full hole out and not leave any supports for like a bottom bearing or anything like that. So I need to cut that hole, mount the speaker, figure out somewhere to put a quarter inch jack. And then I think what I'm going to do is figure out a way to put this old sewing machine light somewhere in here because that's just going to look really cool. So in case you can't tell, this thing is awesome. I love it. It's super cool. Amazing to have built something that moves and does stuff. Really happy with that. Now I would consider this to be a working prototype. Really had no idea if this was going to work at all before I set out. So I'm just amazed that it does at all. But there's obviously things that I would kind of do differently or do better if I was going to do this again. But that being said, it's pretty awesome to play around with. Now the song that you heard during this whole video was just recorded with this thing and even that backwards reversed thing wasn't even a sample at all. It was all happening in the room with this kind of happy accident with this squeaky pedal here. So really cool that all that's happening for real. No samples or fakery going on here. Anyways, that's all I got for this one. Thank you for watching. If you like stuff like this, make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any future videos that I will put out. But otherwise, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. And I'm going to get back to playing this thing.